This is Twit. Okay, so you know Microsoft's been rebranding everything lately with very short one-word names. Like we've got Defender, referring to a whole suite of security stuff. Priva, privacy management stuff. Purview, compliance and governance. Well, now there's another one. Entra, E-N-T-R-A. Microsoft Entra. And what this is, is a family of security and identity access products from Microsoft. That's why I thought maybe Steve cared about this. So in this family, you've got Azure Active Directory, you've got permissions management technology from their Cloud Knox acquisition from last year, and verified ID technology that they're working on now and is in public preview. The, the Microsoft thinking here is bundle all this up into a suite, works for them because then customers tend to buy all the products bundled and they sell all three together. Um, from a customer standpoint, their claim is it's simpler, it's we do all the integration, it works across all the clouds, and it works across all devices, so that you can be sure in our ever-expanding security defense perimeter world that you will be protecting everything, even when you have suppliers coming in and out of your domain, you'll be able to use the secure sign-in and the digital identity verification to make sure you know who you're dealing with and thus reduce security issues. So I'm more intrigued by the name than I am with all the stuff in this thing because I think it's super interesting since Charlie Bell came over to Microsoft from AWS. He was a big wig over there at AWS. Now he runs like the unified security compliance identity teams all up that they've been doing all this rebranding, repackaging. Um, there've been a lot of shakeups internally um, in terms of reorgs. So he's, you know, like he's a very low profile guy publicly. He's only given a couple interviews but he's doing a lot of things under the covers to try to bring some unity to the various things that Microsoft has going on and security identity compliance. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of people hate these rebrands because they, you know, especially if you're a partner or a customer, you have to remember all these new names like Priva, Purview, now you've got Entra. Um, but that's where we're going. And I, I guessing we're going to see even more of these bundles going forward. They don't seem to have a problem bundling stuff. Like Paul said earlier in the podcast, um, Microsoft had some problems about bundling Internet Explorer and Windows in the past. But ever since that was over, they've gotten bolder and bolder about bundling things together. And they seem to just be going full steam ahead with that. So yeah, there you go. Entra. When you hear Entra, think digital identity and security yeah actually i could have seen steve oh. talking about that yeah yeah me too yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. and microsoft's famous i don't like the new i don't like this name though entra yeah because you just entra. exit like viva yeah, so, entra yeah. you know i i had an interview with alex i think his last name is simmons or simons at microsoft who is a vp in this space and i said i asked him about the name mm -hmm. and he said well as you know when we name things we we look at many names i mean they spend millions of dollars when they name something oh god right? like sure they, they use that <laughs> outside firms. yeah they hire yeah outside yeah, firms yeah. and do all kinds of research yeah. and he said the reason they picked enter was because they wanted it to imply it's an entrance into a secure world and they didn't want a gate type name because that would imply you weren't getting access to the secure perimeter they think these things through you guys like a lot <laughs> like they think a lot about the names of this stuff <laughs> they should have so, just yeah, called it nova nova yeah. hey you know Microsoft what that might be a nova. future name might be a future name for something. <laughs> Doesn't go, right? <laughs> <laughs> no va. No va. Uh-huh.